the particular REST API that we are interested in is the 24-hour weather forecast. So uh, let's copy this URL and then uh, we put it in here. So this is what this is the information that we have. We are actually interested in this. The humidity, temperature, wind speed and directions. So looking back at the app, the 24 hour forecast, this is uh, what we have. Let me refresh it. Make sure it's the same. Okay. So right, the information is the uh, same. Uh, so this is where they actually get it from, from the public uh, data. And this is where we actually want to uh, write a script to actually to validate uh, the front end in here, the mobile and the back end. So let's go to uh, Eclipse. So in Eclipse, I uh, already defined the root URI. That is the uh, URI. So let's start writing. Okay. And we want it to have a relaxed uh, HTTP validation. So in case they are, yeah, it will, it will have lesser problem on the certification. And we will need to have the request specification. That sets the response as now for time being. Let's see. Okay. Right. Let's see what it works. Uh, okay. So now this one is the 24 hour forecast, so we need to set the given uh, to it. So we need to set the response. Let's set the response. And then let's test it out whether the response is working or not. Okay, let's test this out. Let's see if there's a a body string. Okay, so there is something in here. Let's copy the rest of it. Okay, this is a JSON editor. Let me clear it. this and let's edit it okay all right so under the general this is uh, what we are interested in the wind speed high low temperature high low the humidity high low and the forecast direction so these are the things that we are interested in okay so at least the response is uh, working that's good so let's uh, do the rest let's extract it out uh, since we already defined it in here let's extract the whole thing out okay. All right okay okay let's see whether uh, this work Okay, so uh, 
so this works all right so we managed to get it out okay uh but let's probably create some methods that we can actually retrieve it off yeah otherwise it'll be very uh clumsy right. it's, it's difficult to read when we have print lying all over the place So we will just create uh, different methods like this and and so that uh, we can actually retrieve it off without calling all these uh, this thing again and again right. okay so they are all here so so we have this class that's ready and now uh, we can move on to the mobile session.